Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the weekend update. This is more than likely going to be the shortest video I've done in a very, very long time. Not even going to go over any stock plays, just going to be looking at some of the indice charts. It was one of those videos or weekends where I was like, well, do I do a video? What am I going to talk about? And I was like, you know what? Let me just go over the overall sentiment that we feel out there. As you know, techs and everything else are getting whooped upside the head. All because of this chart right here. 10-year uh, Treasury yields, the inflation story, what the Fed has said. We've actually gone through this last year. This was what happened in February into March when interest rates spiked 70% uh, over the course of two months. This is now underway again. One thing to keep in mind, I did post a stat there in the room on Friday. The Fed is right about... 27% of the time on average over the last 15 years, just so you know. One thing they say that's coming, they, they can't even predict stuff that's coming six months away, never mind one or two years. But we're in the midst of a, a big rotation right now. Last year, in the large caps, especially in the tech stocks, all we saw on a constant daily basis was the algos pushing up a, a handful of stocks. The opposite is true now. All we see now are the algos pushing a handful of stocks down, but that shorting is spreading out to everything else and volumes continue to dry up. And, you know, when there is a tape like this, even though this is the most value I've seen in many, many years, I am hand sitting. Still have my swing plays, still have my January poppers. I'll probably give them another week or so. Uh, as Mr. Bill pointed out in the room last week, there were some years where January poppers didn't actually happen until March. You take what the market gives. And again, it all comes down to having that plan in place. My plan when it came to the January poppers was starter positions moving in. I had planned on this past week on starting to go big, but the market said, eh. Go to a full stop, watch, and wait. And that's what happened. Now, this is the 10-year daily chart, but let's look at this is the weekly chart on the 10-year. And we are getting ready to push up against the 200-day moving average. That should act as a strong resistance. And if we look at the monthly chart, you can see here 50-day moving average is there. 200-day, which is another should be rock-solid season, is up there in the 2.5% range. That is my opinion on the worst case we are going to see for interest rates. I actually think uh, a lot of this inflation and interest rates spiking talk is really overblown to sell a narrative for eyeballs, which is ad revenue. But that's just my opinion on what we are seeing out there. We're already starting to see things kind of slow down out there. It's going to continue. A poster child of what's going on in the market right now is uh, Kathy Wood's ETF, ARK Innovation. Just absolutely hammered. These are the kinds of stocks that are getting sold off. Unfortunately, we have a lot of value stocks in small cap land also getting taken to the wood set because it's risk off out there. We have garbage like Plantair with a $30 billion market cap, $34 billion market cap on $300 million in revenue, losing $100 million. You know, that's the kind of crap that is getting taken to the woodshed and shot right now. Unfortunately, they're shooting everything else as well. And the only things that are actually moving up are what they call the boring value plays like Honeywell, like Boeing, uh, I would lump Disney into that. J and J, that's another one. These are the ones that are holding up the Dow, and why you don't see the Dow joining the whoopings that you're seeing around the market, because you see these guys taking over the burden and offsetting some of those other gains. Look at the chart here on Bitcoin. Bitcoin follows what we see essentially on ARC. This is a risk off environment at the moment, but as we know, that can turn on a dime. Crypto was pretty weak this weekend. It's something I we probably need to keep a close eye on here in the next few days. Uh, once you see that nice little turn in cryptos, I think we'll start to see a nice little turn as well on the rest of the speculative type of stocks in the market. Going into this week, still, sitting with an 85 percent plush cash stance now something i do when i have a plan and the market decides that my plan is not worth anything at the moment 
if I feel like I don't have enough of a cash stance, the, usually the easiest thing I do if I'm not able to go through and decide, nope, I'm getting out of this swing, I'm getting out of that swing, the easiest thing I've found that I do over the years is I just chop them all in half. Chop them all in half, then the next day I go back and I look and I'm like, am I okay now? A day later, with the position I have in this stock, and if the answer is yes, I did the right move. If the answer is, no, nah, I don't really like this stock anymore, I sell it, or... Nah, I don't think I have enough shares in this stock. I'll rebuy it back. That's how I approach when I'm trying to raise my cash stance in a market like this. Now, I went back. Uh, I keep pretty good records. Have for many, 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 many years. I like to refer to them in periods like this. This January, while the selling we are seeing in large caps, there are random pockets of action out there. This January without the large selling in the queues is a lot like the 2019 into January 2020 uh, January market. Really didn't pick up until later in January and then the pandemic hit. So these kinds of slow starts of the month are not uncommon. Now, if the narrative changes out there really quickly, you're gonna see these things curl and move back. And as I've continued to say over the last couple of months, the baby step moves in, you will know when a mania is hitting. The early stages, it could go either way. That's why I take that tiptoe approach in the things with the high cash stance. Right now, that has proved to be a very good uh, position to be in right now. In watch mode, ready to move if things say it's ready to, time to move, or I'll just sit back and wait. Remember, the amount of stocks in value land right now, especially in small caps, this is the most I've seen in many, many, many years. I've seen some years where it's extended all the way into uh, March before we saw a decent side bounce. Many times the bounce starts to happen in mid-month. So that's the approach I'm going to take with this market this week. Remember, the key to doing this is stress-free trading. If you're stressed out with this current market environment, it tends to mean you're too overexposed. Adapt to the market. That's it for the video, guys. I will see you all in the chat room tomorrow. Bye.